fellows, again, will fund one pastor for one year of training. It takes about two years, incidentally, to finish the training in most places around the world through most of our partners. A thousand dollar gift will fund a regional teacher training workshop. And we don't just identify teachers, we train and equip those teachers so that they are prepared to do the work of ministry themselves. $5,000 will help us finish one of seven translation projects. We have 31 in place now. There's seven underway, and every time a new translation comes online, hundreds of new pastors are able to be training. $10,000 will help us with large-scale printing. We print all of our manuals in India. Since 1990, we have trained 100, 000, over 100,000 pastors. We have printed and shipped over 1 million manuals from Bangalore, India, for those pastors. <clears throat> and I'm here tonight because I love the Lord. I'm here tonight because I love the ministry of BTCP, which he has entrusted to a group of us and to our partners. We could not do the work without them. But I'm here also just to ask you, for the Lord, would you be willing to help us either give for the first time, increase what you're giving, or do whatever the Lord leads you to do in terms of helping us to fund this ministry? We want to move forward. Instead of turning 40,000 pastors a year, we'd love to train 50,000 or 60,000 a year. We'd love to train as many as the Lord will give us resources to do. And I'll be very, very honest with you. The main restriction to training more pastors and every single partner sitting here tonight will tell you the same thing. It's not a lack of teachers. It's not a lack of places to be. It's not a lack of curriculum. It's simply funding. And every one of the partners here tonight could stand here and ask you to do exactly what I am doing tonight. In fact, they do on a regular basis. Don't you? The limiting factor in terms of training thousands upon thousands of more pastors who are untrained is simply resources. And again, God has been extraordinarily gracious to us and we're very grateful for that. We actually believe that the need is so great that we can never meet that need, but we want to be involved in training as many as the Lord will give us the resources to do. We have new partners coming on board virtually every week. Some of those are large-scale partners like David and Greg and others. Some are small-scale with one class. We're happy with all of those. Remember, I would have been content to train 20 pastors in Kenya every year and to be 23 years down the road and having trained a class of 20 every year. God had something much, much bigger in mind as He has honored the teaching of His Word in a remarkable number of contexts around the world. So, you can write us a check tonight if you like. We have a basket on the way out. You can drop it in. You can mail us a check. There's an envelope there. If you prefer to give by credit card, you can do that in a secure fashion online. But we would be delighted uh, to have you give as the Lord moves you to give, but only as the Lord moves you to give. And again, I want to say thank you to those of you who have faithfully provided for the ministry. And regardless of whether it's a few hundred dollars or many thousands of dollars, all of it goes for the training and equipping of pastors for the work of local church ministry. I want to leave you with two verses of Scripture, actually three, from 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Paul, in talking about the Macedonian Christians, said they urgently pleaded with us for the privilege of sharing in this service to the saints. They were taking up a collection for the poor in Jerusalem. The Macedonian churches begged to give. You ever begged to give? You ever been at the point where God so overwhelmed you with His goodness and grace? And you were so grateful for what He's done in your life that you actually begged to participate and give as a privilege for the work of ministry. They did so not as we expected, Paul goes on to say, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and then to us in keeping with God's will. This is about the overflow of a relationship with God. Not so much about your pocketbook. Not so much about your checkbook. It's about your relationship to the Lord. If you love the Lord, you'll be giving to causes like this. Not necessarily BTCP, but to churches and ministries and individual people who are doing the work of ministry around the world.
The last verse is in 2 Corinthians 9. These are two wonderful passages. If you haven't read these two chapters lately and you want to be really encouraged about the concept of giving, these are the two best pa passages in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. And he says in verse 12, The service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of God's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. Giving is a grace that we exercise, a gift, if you will. As God has prospered us, as God has led us to give, it's a wonderful privilege to see God praised for what's being done and to use your faithfulness in praying for us as a ministry. And you can see a number of different opportunities tonight that we share with you that would, would uh, benefit greatly from your prayer support and also simply by helping us financially so that we can train more pastors for the work of ministry that God has entrusted uniquely to us. I'd like to tell you that there are plenty of toolboxes like this with the kinds of tools in them that are represented by the BTCP manuals. If you've never seen them, there's a set out in the foyer. They're a unique tool used by God. Honor His Word and use the Bible as the main training tool. I'd like to tell you there are many toolboxes out there, but they're really not. And David and Henry and Greg and others here would tell you that. that it works. It works because it's God's Word. It works because it's designed for the specific purpose of equipping and training pastors for the work of ministry. So I would ask you to pray about that. I would ask you simply to follow the leading of the Lord to help us in any way that you can to meet our goals for this year and to move us forward into the future. The problem will never, never lessen. It will only become greater because God's gospel is bearing fruit all over the world, as you heard tonight. So that's what we're responding to. God, you're going to bring these people to yourself? Wonderful. It's our job to equip and train them. And so help us do that, if you would, please. Again, thank you for coming, and thank you for your attention. I'm going to ask Kevin Bacon.